And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here on the IRT Network. It had, uh, has been nothing short of amazing. And the reason being is because we can see these two in a semifinal right now. Let's introduce the players. First up, we have Kane Watson Chuck, who rightfully so gets his introduction. Really styling on it with that new shirt he's adorning here at this year end season ending, year end ranking tournament here in Fresno, California. His opponent today will be Gearbox's big hitter, the man of Mexico himself, Alvaro Beltran. Consistent play for quite some time. It's kept him in the top echelon for so many years. Multiple next uh, Mexican national champion, multiple Pan American game champion, multiple world champion, uh, decorated individual, and you'll see why his style is so sought after. It looks effortless, pure, smooth, good hands, good footwork, pretty solid between the uh, ears. He's just a titan. But uh, as we talk about Kane Waslenchuk, I mean, that guy is at the top of the hill right now. Currently seated number two in this tournament by 78 points as a differential in the year-ending season one ranking. Should Kane win this match, we have a setup for fight for number one between Rocky Carson and Kane Waslenchuk. Kane, nine-time year-end number one. 10-time U.S. Open champion. And that there really doesn't need to be more on his resume than there is. I mean, he's a Pan American champion as well. He's a world game champion. He is a national champion in two countries, America and Canada. Pardon me, U.S. of A and Canada. Coached by legendary coach Jim Winterton. This match is just getting in the way here. A little bit of a lull as we have some wet spots. It is hot here in Fresno, California. We're experiencing about 87 degrees. Uh, and it's showing no signs of cooling down. But they're doing the best job they can to keep this uh, the air circulated in here. Charlie Pratt will be our IRT official for this match. And here we go, just a reminder for the fans about flash photography, and we are set to go, Kane with a missile. Great angle. Good hands from Mexico's number one, Alvaro Beltran, who will be playing in this year's Pan American Games. His partner, Javier Moreno, who we were fortunate to have on the air yesterday. What a ray of sunshine he is. My cheeks are still hurting as well as everyone else's. I've talked to a few other people who were watching yesterday. They said, they were in stitches. Javi was fantastic. Beautiful down the line shot. Just enough power on it. One serving one. That's a nice finish right there from Alvaro. Or excuse me, from Kane. Who's residing in Texas. His wife and U.S. team competition champion, Kim Russell Waslanchek, I'm sure is watching at home. 
cheering her man on as he trails by 78 points to gain the year end ranking. Four serving one. Serving four. Avoidable awarded for Beltran. Woo. On the back. Not a bad ceiling ball on it. It's not. A very difficult shot for a lot of people. Alvaro expects him to make that, and I think everyone does expect him to make that as well. His hands are some of the best I have ever seen. Shot from Kane. Five serving one, game number one, semifinal number two. Tough. Good scurry there from the spry legs of Alvaro Beltran. Great hustle, good redirection. That's the hands we were talking about. And how he makes things that are so difficult look effortless and easy. Kane shows you just how pure you can hit the ball. Playing with his new Pro Kinex racket. By the way, we will be showcasing the Pro Kinex finals at 7 p.m. tonight. Pacific Standard Time. Ten o'clock for all my East Coast family out there. Beauty. Seven serving one. Excuse me, six. Six? It is seven one. Okay, cool. Not hearing things. That's good. The voices have left. <laughs> And a very, very knowledgeable timeout right now from Alvaro Beltran. Kane is serving game number one. Seven serving one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome everybody. We are back. I'm going to try not to shout in the mic and destroy your speakers. Whew, there we are. Back down to level. Tough. Let's see what happened here. Not sure what Kane is talking about there. To go back and watch that one in the archive. But as I say, the ball never lies, and I see an ace that comes out there. I have to believe, per the usual, Charlie Pratt is right, head official for the IRT. Javier Moreno's in Alvaro Beltran's corner right now. Otherwise, I'm sure he'd be on the air with us. Second serve. Last week we put a tournament. And I put a string. I keep playing. I put a little bit. I put a little bit. I put a little bit. Great shot from Kane Waslinchuk wielding his Pro Canics racket. Part of the new line coming out. Don't want to give too much away, but Daniel and Kane both have their signature series rackets. And they look fierce. We'll check out Pro Canics racquetball. They hit up racquetball warehouse. I'm sure we'll have them available there as well. Look at that. Two great serves back to back from Kane. He's going to take a 10 2 lead here in game number one. Sets himself up to win game number one. <laughs> so classy. That's so tough. That's smart. Yeah. Alvaro Beltran working on his game. Says he's figured out something new that he just figured out maybe a couple months ago. Testament to the kind of student he is, always learning. Look at his hands, beautiful. Four serving ten on the head pen scorecard in this second semifinal if you're just joining us hello and uh, update you Rocky Carson won his semifinal earlier 9 11-9 beautiful display from Rocky an amazing first game from both players but Rocky just finding another level winning that one three straight Smart. Oh, what a read. Five serving ten. And, uh... We're seeing a little mini comeback right now, but Kane says, no, you're not. I'm going to pelt this one down the line. Five, excuse me, ten serving five, a second game point here. Wow. Wow. 
Uh, we're very emotional there on that one, and uh, that'll be the end of that game. And we will take a, uh, a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with everything, folks. shortcuts to the top. Do you have what it takes? Desire is something within you and only you. For when the ground falls from your feet, will you be the one to rise up? It's a long road to the top, but that's just what it takes to become pro. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a turn for the worst there at the end for Alvaro. Very, very frustrated. It's unfortunate. Uh, you know, he's, he's playing. He knows he's playing a giant today. And uh, he can't be affording any missed calls. And, uh, you know, Charlie Pratt, it's nothing personal. He's always trying to make the right call. But, um, you know, Alvaro gets a little emotional, gets a good shot call to skip, and uh, that's the way it goes. Nonetheless, so you can't take credit away from Kane. He has really put on a good dominant display here as he wins the first game 11-5. Alvaro making a mini comeback near the end there of that. And that call came at a time when he felt momentum was on his side. And thus caused the frustration. There's a point. One negative one. Pardon me, Kane is actually, excuse me, uh, Kim is in town. I just noticed her in the facility. Good to have her here. Kane's wife. That's the good stuff right there. That is pure. Wow. Go back when this one is archived and watch that one. Over is trying to rally back right now, get himself to a better place mentally. He realizes the last thing when climbing the mountain you want to do is be down on yourself as well. Show it physically. Mm. A bullet down the right sideline and backhand. Wow. Great shot from Alvaro. The crowd's trying to get behind him right now. He knows he's in a tough spot. Alvaro starting with negative one, three. Skip ball. Zero, three. Gets that negative one off the board. Zero, three. So Alvaro given that, and rightfully so. That's not good of the game to be doing that to the official 
regardless of what you believe to be true. Nonetheless, he pays his, uh, his debt owed. It's a race. Not happy about that call either. One three. Skip ball there. One serving three. That's punishing right there. Alvaro having a good time right now with Charlie Pratt. Alvaro came hungry today. Mm. Useful shot that. As Mike Peters would say, multiple World Outdoor Racquetball Doubles Pro Champion of Huntington Beach. Nice. That's a real nice. One, One serving four. Crowd's getting into it now. Kane is playing tough. Staying to his game plan. He's not really giving in to the antics right now of Beltran. What Beltran has to do to handle his business. He's saying he's going to let him do what he has to do, and I'm going to do what I have to do right now. Wow. Five serving one. That's the good stuff. I'll take a little bit of that all day, every day. Forehand blister from Beltran. That's an excellent vision right there from Charlie Pratt. I didn't see the skip there. Charlie Pratt is on it. Mm. Kane not giving Alvaro very much to shoot at. Alvaro having to be very defensive. And Kane is about the last individual you want to be defensive with in racquetball. Get ready here for a second serve. Narvo's got to take another time out here. And we'll take a time out as well when we come back. We'll have more great racquetball action coming at you live here 
from Fresno, California on the IRT network. of as little as 19 days a year in the Army Reserve, there's more than one way to be the best. Find out more. Search Army Reserve. Hello and welcome back, everybody. You're watching the IRT Network and you're watching the second semi-finals unfold right before our eyes. Finn Waslinska putting on a solid display right now. A very fiery Alvaro Beltran. Once again, hello and welcome. I am Brian Pineda, and all the action is being brought to you live from the IRT network. Home to all the champions. Hanging out with Rick Glazebrook, who's been doing a fantastic job on our production side for this broadcast. In front of this sold out crowd that came to see this live. It's great to see a California racquetball tournament like this again. California is one of the biggest hotbeds for racquetball. And uh, it's been a while, a long while since we've seen a tournament uh, as well done as this. Thank you, Nancy Farmisco, for everything that you did in this event together. So here we go. Game number two resumes. Time is in. Five serving two. Oh, pardon me. I was way off on the score there. Eight serving two. Oh, boy. He's really finding his range right now. I tell you what, folks. All things look a go here for Mr. Waslunchuk. Two serving nine. Skip. Three nine. Three serving nine. One of those short runs near the end again. Four, nine. Four serving nine. <laughs> Essentially what you've seen there since the side out or right during the side out is Alvaro bringing his game up a tad. Becoming cleaner. Second serve. Stop that bleeding on the timeout at seven. This game would feel a little more comfortable for him. Matter of fact, if he didn't have this technical, he'd be at five. Essentially, he could be at five seven right now. Nine, four. Instead, we are at nine serving four. Kane Waslinchuk. That's nice. Good shot. 
That's good defense. Four nine. Good hands. And uh punish it. Nine four. That's the exchange Alvaro's been looking for. Four nine. Four serving nine. Four serving nine on the head pen scorecard. It's a good call. Four nine. It's part of that thankless job. Referring. Those are the calls you have to make. There are the rules. Of course, the player is going to be upset about it. Yeah, I, uh, both players said they saw it good. I don't think there's a set of eyes that disagreed with Charlie Pratt in the building. And as I say, the ball never lies. Five nine. Five serving nine. <laughs> We're having a little fun with Charlie. With these guys, you know, especially with Alvaro, yes, he gets heated. It's all in the spirit of the game when he does it because it's not a consistent regularity. And he learns to have fun with it. He works his way through it that way. Oh my. Nine five. Nine serving five. <laughs> More of his jousting on the court. Oh, well, gives him a freebie at a bad time as he gives opportunity now to the world rank number two, Kane Waslinchuk. Ten serving five. <laughs> Gotta love that result. Perfect flat backhand. Six ten. Good on Alvaro. Mini battle one here in game number two. Six, he scores ten. six points this game for five points. <laughs> he shuts out seven. Because of the technical that was given. Seven ten. And Alvaro just playing it. Love it. Uh, 
basketball called. Seven serving ten. Seven ten. Seven serving ten. And it's interesting to see how the different players operate and how they try to control the tangibles, the pace. their strategy as far as what they're doing to, to not so much banter but how they go about their business with the referee eight serving ten now and this is how Alvaro is operating he's very much been upset he didn't know a way to fire himself up it's one of the hardest things to do nine ten <laughs> <laughs> Still shouting out 10-10. He's done a great job to put himself back in the driver's seat of the flow of this match. <laughs> it's a side out and it could have come at a better time. Game point number two. Ten serving nine. What a great comeback there from Alvaro. Woo! Some good fancy work right there. And Alvaro is going to get an equipment timeout. He has 30 seconds for it to get a racket. Where all strings are playing on the high level. And uh, we'll be right back as Alvaro is still joking around with Charlie Pratt. And you can only find those jokes here on the IRT Network. <laughs> Welcome back here. We are live. You are, we are. I'll use my words. We are back here live in Fresno, California for the end of the season year-end ranking. Finalizing here. It's the last stop for the pros in this regular season. If you're just joining us, hello and welcome. My name is Brian Pineda. Hanging out with Rick Blazebrook here in the booth. And it is sizzling. California, Central California weather right now. Feels like a warm summer day. Skies are blue. It's beautiful outside. And here we are indoor watching two Titans battle it out. Nine serving ten. What a story this one's had so far. James played very well. Alvaro has really had to dig deep to get after Kane here. This one comes off long. Oh my gosh. Wow. Did anyone see that coming? Because I didn't. I don't know if I've ever seen him at miss that shot, but as they say, there's a first for everything. And I guess at the end of the day, this can be contributed to as in part, other than a mechanical breakdown or whatever that was. This is Alvaro getting a game on his flow, which ultimately can disrupt your opponent. He's getting out of his time. He's done everything to get the momentum on his side. Kudos to Alvaro thus far, and that get he made. Ten, ten. You want to talk about heart. That's why you get the ball. That's why the next ball is important. Yeah. Ten serving ten. Second serve. Second serve. Does he give Kane another setup? 
with his forehand. He does. Wow. What a get. Incredible. That's high level racquetball right there, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal get to start things off from Alvaro. Then it looks like he might get a setup. And Kane hits this beautiful back wall shot that leaves Alvaro from his feet to get it back to the front wall. And Kane with the finish. That's good, good racquetball right there. I'm definitely going to go back and watch that one specifically to make sure that was not a flail. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that second shot Kane hit was completely intentional off the back wall and that's filthy that's intentional that's a new way of thinking on shots when you get a plum in the front court like that it's outstanding stuff 10-10 here we go 10-10 must win by two per IRT sanctioned rules short serve second serve Oh no. 11-10. Another plum into the floor. 11 serving 10. Kane with a great chance right here to close game two out. 11-10. There it is, game two right there. Has to dig deep for that one. He knows how important that one was. And he takes that one 12-10. We'll be right back with game number three, ladies and gentlemen. And you are watching it all here live on the Racquetball Network, the IRT Network. Stay tuned. Oh, oh no! Oh. 
There are thousands of ways into the complex healthcare system. I'm right. And United Healthcare has ways to make the system simpler, like virtual doctor visits. What happened here? I came in too hot. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. About to start game at number three. As Kane Waslanchuk in the court in the white takes on Alvaro Beltran. We got a battle of the gray hair, and I'm saying the bald guy's losing right now. Not so many members left in his army. Nope. All right, here we go. Alvaro Beltran. is zero, zero. really in a pickle here. He's down two games to none. Kane it made another great comeback right there to hold off game two. Had a huge lead. Alvaro climbed back. Things look to be on Alvaro's side. Momentum was. And Kane does it again. Back at zero, serving zero. Tough. Good line there from zero, zero. from Kane. Let's say hello to Jimmy Vicizo out in San Diego, California. He's tuning in, watching these two great champions battled out here for a spot in the finals. By the way, congratulations, Rafa Nadal. He's into the quarterfinals. Oh! <laughs> zero, zero. <laughs> that was devastating right there. Just straight filth into the left corner. Arbo says, yeah, it's kind of good. No, that was just filthy. Very nice there. Break, I One should say, zero. for Alvaro Beltran. One serving zero. He's going to need a lot of that and a lot of finishing shots here. As he must win the next three games to win this match. Needs the next game just to stay in the match. Good. came out and had a little something to say. Sure it was a sweet kiss to Charlie saying, hey dude, I know you're doing the best job you can and I appreciate you for who you are as a human being. I'm sure the dialogue is something like that. One, one. One serving one. Tough. One, one. One serving one. Oh no. Oh no. That's a tough. That's a tough call. That is going to happen when you're playing the fastest sport in the world. Alvaro just feels like all these tough calls are going against him. Arguing uh, 
a lot of really close ones. Nonetheless, the ref has the final say. <laughs> Two one. It's so amazing how he can make his frustration turn into comedy for the rest of us. His gift of entertainment, what he brings to the tour, one of the hottest commodities in the sport. Alvaro Beltran playing for Gearbox Racquetball. Players having a little uh, chit chat on the court. Beautiful serve. Sets up a plum here. And that's a blister down the line. That is punishing. Two, two. Two serving two. Just as a programming reminder tonight, our Pro Canics finals are at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. We appreciate you joining us now live. Serving two. Not too much momentum going one way or the other. Up in the air for someone who wants to take it, really. Two serving two. Second serve. Goodness, that poor ball right there Three, two. just gets throttled down the left side line. And a plum for Kane, wielding that new Pro Kinex racket. For serving two. <laughs> Time out, five two. Five serving two. We're going to take a short time out in the break as everyone needs to collect himself here. We're going to stay in this game number three. Don't go anywhere. More action come at you live. This is a call to the committed. To those who wake up with a desire to do more. To those who won't stop until they reach the finish line. All champions. Advocare. We build champions. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Players getting their last bit of tidbits from their camps. 
Kane looking to finish right here. Shout out to Brian Pineda doing a great job today. Woo! Behind the microphone. On it. But in front of the times. <laughs> uh, getting some more towels. That's legendary coach Jim Winterton right there. And here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Too tough. Tommy Gunn on the Snapchat. I think I just caught him snapping. Tom Durham, local, true local from Fresno, California. Hanging out with his pops, who's been emceeing, DJing for us. National age group champion, Jim Durham. Gotta love the Durham family. If you know racquetball, you love the Durham family. Good people. Tom Durham, if you remember from the Long Beach Open. Him and partner Scott Davis. And Jansen Allen and Charlie Pratt on the ropes. Ten serving nine. But the pros showed why they are pros. And came back to win 11-10. 6-2. Six serving two. Kane Wasslin Chuck. Looking pretty good right now to be headed into a final. Alvaro definitely showing increase in his play. And on that serve right there, that's how hard and how much power and energy and inertia this gentleman gen generates and transfers. He snapped his frame on the serve. Incredible. 2-6. Two, Two serving six. Second serve coming. Oh boy, what a serve. Three, six. Three serving six. Stuff from Beltran, 4 6. Oh boy. And here he comes. The big man on the move right now. 5 serving 6 on the head pen scorecard. One point away from tying this up. And Kane executes down the line that time. Alvaro leaves it a little shy from the sidewall. Probably a little more confidence when you swing. It hit the ball closer to the sweet spot, as Kane did there. Hits it beautifully. Six serving five.
Great reaction right there. Seven serving five for the world seeded number two player in this draw. I'll be trying to look for another sign to pump himself up here. Eight serving five. He knows how crucial those are. He cannot skip. Beautiful mechanic there. Great depth into his dip. It's so low. Follows through with his shoulders and core. Finishes with his legs and wrists. Here we go. Locked and loaded. Sends a missile down the left side. What a read. Smart. And here we are, we've arrived at our first match point, ladies and gentlemen. Ten five. Ten serving five. Shot. Five ten. And a much needed side out there. No fear in that swing. Trust it to be there. Five at serving ten. Beauty. Ah. Oh. Six ten. Six serving ten. Approachman. Charlie calls an encroachment call right there. Seven ten. <laughs> Such a crowd pleaser Beltran is. Seven serving ten. Oh boy. Oh boy, let's turn up the mic for this one. He could have hit it. What? He could have hit it. Yeah, he could have hit him. I thought he was out of the way. Let's go. You got to get back on the court. Let's go. Replay, 7-10. There it was. Sweet nothings for the usual. Always a gentleman, Alvaro Beltram. Just uh, taking some time. I think he handled that. What do you think, Rick? That was probably handled a lot better than the uh, racket throw. I think. I think signs of growth right there just within the match. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Seven serving ten replay. Oh. Once again, I, that's what I'm saying. At this level, you you never want to hurt anyone. I mean, obviously, you're not here to to be decapitating people with your racket or sending a photon into someone's ear. But in those situations, when you're playing for your livelihood. 
if you have the shot, you need to take it. And if you happen to hit the guy, then there is no argument. You've shown the ref why that should be called unavoidable. It'll sting. It's unfortunate when you hit someone. But that's how you have to play. That's a skip, and that's going to end it for us right there. That's a tough mental match right there for Kane. I think this is a great video for a lot of, uh, for every player and every coach to watch. That more so was demanding mentally, and Kane figured out another way to win right there. He's going to take it down in the semifinals. 11-5, 12-10, 11-7. An excellent effort from Alvi, nonetheless. And uh, we just want to thank you for tuning in to IRT Network. A couple last things. One, the, the Pro Kennex Finals are scheduled for 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, also, thank you all for watching. Hanging out with Rick Relaysbrook and myself, Brian Pineda. We appreciate you guys getting up with us and supporting uh, the network. And we will catch you back here at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tonight. West Coast, West Coast. Rick and Brian, and we are out. Catch you later. <laughs>